Well, hey there everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today because we're talking about my all-time favorite guitar player, the guy who made me want to play guitar, Eddie Van Halen. Now, if you want tabs for what we're about to cover, that link is down below in the description. If you'd like to check out my free guitar course, it's right here, the Fretboard Decoder. Uh, I think it's definitely geared more towards beginners and, interme and, blah, and intermediate players, so uh, you might get some helpful things out of that. But yes, we're talking about my favorite guitar player. Now, Eddie is the one who made me want to play guitar, but I didn't learn his stuff for a long time because I thought it was too hard. So I thought, you know what? Some of these riffs I don't think are too hard for a beginner who's been playing for a little bit. You know, not if this is the first thing you've ever played on guitar, but uh, I think these riffs can be very inspiring to learn. So let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> All right, so let's jump on into these. So the first one is off of Van Halen 1, uh, their big old debut, which is Feel Your Love Tonight. Uh, such a cool cool riff. This is, I think, the third Van Halen riff I could ever play. Uh, half a decent. He does change it a little bit. A lot of these riffs, what you're going to find out very quickly when you're learning anything any Van Halen, he rarely plays the same thing twice. So um, I have, you know, kind of stripped down versions of some of these riffs. So it starts out, it's essentially like this, uh, kind of the shuffly one four five thing. <laughs> So it starts out three to four on the low E string. Okay? Then you can I slide into it. I go to seven on the A string. Okay, so then you're gonna palm mute your low E string. Then you go to fifth fret on the A. Then you go palm mute again. And then you go to a fourth fret on the A. So yeah. Now you're gonna uh, go to the low E string again and palm mute it twice. Do do. Now here we have a little bit of a chord uh, harmonization going on here. We're gonna play five on the A string and then four on the D. Okay, he does this more later on, but we're just gonna do this single one right here for now. So. Okay, then you're gonna go back to palm muting the low E string once. You go to four on the A, then two on the A string with a palm mute. So yeah. Second one, running with the devil. <laughs> I can't even do the scream. <laughs> it's so high pitched. Um, another really good one. You know, uh, it, it, this is a great one where basically you're just a little power chord. My guitar's out of tune. Better to So essentially, you're gonna go five on the D, G, and B. And you just simply go up to seven. So it's five, five, five on the D, G, B. So I'm barring that with my pointer finger. I go up to seven on the DGB. I add shake to a lot of these notes. And then you're gonna go to this. This is probably the most difficult part. So basically you're gonna play the seven on the DG and B again. Now you're gonna take your ring finger and it goes to nine on the D and your middle finger goes to eight on the B. Okay, so. Now this is a very good rock and roll thing to learn. It's in a lot of songs. Okay, so you have seven, and you have this part. Now take this uh, shape and move it up two frets. Play it again, and then pick those fingers up, and now you should have nine, nine, nine. So it's a little bit tricky, 
but this is a really good one to get practice in barring across those strings. It's not like a full bar chord. Bar chords are tough and evil. Number three. So I, should go, I started to say three. Number three. Uh, where have all the good times gone? Such a cool one. Off of Diver Down, uh, of course. Uh, Running With The Devil was off of Van Halen 1 as well. If you're not super familiar with these albums, that's why I'm listing them off. Uh, but basically, uh, again, you know, Eddie changes a lot of stuff. He does crazy things. We're doing stripped down versions of a lot of what he does. So uh, basically we have this, you know, just an E major. And basically it's kind of dividing up the chord. So he goes nine on the G and the B. Then he goes to nine on the D and then nine on the G and B. Then he slides down to seven on the G and B. So basically he's going from like a like an E to a D kind of thing. So. Let that one kind of hang there for a little bit. Do it again. Now he changes it and goes like this. And you don't have to do all that stuff if you want. You can continue to kind of do that opening thing just to get the feel of it. But if you want to do that part, he's sliding from seven up to nine on the D. And he goes back to the double stop, which is the nine on the G and B. So he goes, same thing that we did in the beginning, he just adds that slide. Then he just goes, he's sliding back and forth, he goes nine, seven, nine, seven. Now this part goes. So you're playing an A, bar, uh, a power chord here, so fifth fret on the low E string twice and you slide up to a B so you're gonna go five seven up to seven and nine and then you're gonna do the same thing seven nine down to five seven now a lot of this stuff the very crucial part is the groove that he has and all this stuff he's not just going this is the most difficult part is gonna get the rhythm so So next is Jamie's crying. It's uh, such a cool one. There's a lot of stuff going on here. We're gonna do the very simple beginning part of it, which doesn't really have any chords or anything. So uh, basically it goes like this. And again, this is all working on rhythm and timing because this makes it really tough because there isn't this in-between chord like there is later in the song. So it goes. Now later he goes. gonna do that part we're just doing this uh, first part so it's open low E string two more open low E's muted two more again now here you do have a little walk down it goes seven six five then you go to three on the low E string if you know your pentatonic scale or your pentatonic blues that's basically you're just walking down a scale so, Like I said, if you're feeling brave, venture into that next part. It's, it's kind of tough. Basically, it's open low E string and then seven on the G, B, and high. So, uh, then two palm mutes. Then you're doing a, a chord here. It's seven on the A. Then you, you have the D string muted, and then it's seven on the G and the B. Then you do the little walk down. I want to throw this in here, even though it's not uh, actually a Van Halen song, they do a really cool cover, which is Pretty Woman, and I think that this is a great finger exercise. This is one of the, uh, you know, I learned Thunderstruck, I learned this one, I learned a couple different exercises that were songs, but really work on your fingers, so... So, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm playing, uh, I'm palm muting all, you don't have to, it's open, four, seven on the lowest room. Then I go to five on the A. So sorry, there's two opens. Open, open, four, seven. 
then I go to five, and then I go to four on the D, and seven, five on the A. So. And then it just repeats itself. So to me, that was a really good exercise because it was fun, because it was also a song, and uh, it works on using your pinky. So. Home diggity dogs. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, like I said, Eddie is my favorite guitar player of all time. And even with him, I've never really spent the time to learn anything note for note. I just love getting the inspiration and ideas from his, you know, amazing playing style. So uh, if you haven't really checked out a lot of Van Halen, please go check it out. That's my phone ringing. Don't know who that is. But I will be seeing you all later. Peace out, homies. Rock on.